At one point he whacked it. <laughs> Poor bastard. That is a big oh <laughs> jumbo perch. <laughs> oh and he's gone. You guys saw him. <laughs> I was getting ready to start the controversy train and call it a jack perch. Everybody be up in arms. No such thing as a jack. The term of endearment. The big ones are jacks. That's how I grew up out here. You never know from one day to the next. So at blade bait, you lift it off the bottom, it goes and then it falls. Preferably on a tight line, so it's like this as opposed to like that. So it's and then just like this, tight line. Hits the bottom, here's the bottom, boom. I came to do the part. And it was, oh, you guys saw it. It was a good one, too. I didn't really get a good enough into him, though. And they pin it. So it could have come out the side. The picture, look. Oh, oh, boy. I just, I just, I just said it. Oh, big bass. Big, big, big. Oh. On your favorite, uh, nice smallmouth. On your favorite, uh, Color Kitex, the, the bluegill flash. Boy, he waffled that thing. What color, what color eyeball do you have on that hook? I have, uh... Well, I thought he was going to be way bigger than this, though, how hard he hit it. Hook come right out of him, too. What a beautiful fish. It's the black and white uh, black and white head with the big silver eyeball. Nice big chunky smallmouth. Hit the Kitek. I just put this on two casts ago. And talking to my wife, my lucky charm. And I just said I need to catch a fish and whammo. Just like that. Third cast, first fish of the day. Thumped it good, thought for sure it was a walleye. Tons of fun. Great eating. So this big buddy looks like he's been hooked before. See that on his lip right there? 
see where my swim bait is down in there. And it looks like he's got a bad eye. This is just an old warrior. Beautiful big fish. Kitek. That's my setup. That's what Courtney got him on last night. Nice big smallie. I made three drifts on the other side of Hump Island here. Uh, I had two, two bites on the blade. I had one good perch. Uh, this is my first time drifting down the other side. I'm right on the edge of it here. That was exciting. All of a sudden it's just weightless. You're reeling along, you can feel that tail thump, especially on these big fat swing impacts. It's got a much bigger profile. And it just, it just stops. And then it's heavy. And you just, I just reel set. A couple good cranks as I'm sweeping the rod back. And, uh, and he was right there. And he was way up in the crotch of Hump Island. He was, uh, There's, there's the main hump island and there's a little hump right here. He was sitting right in that elbow. Uh, my guess is this little bit of, very little bit of wind current. It was uh, just pushing stuff down in there to him. I guess I didn't. So I just sent my good Kitek flying right to the bottom. Boy. Forty-eight degree water, beautiful, nice walleye on a white spinnerbait. He woofed it pretty good too. Look at that beautiful sunset going down. Absolute gorgeous day. I watched the sun come up and I watched it go down. In between, I've caught a few fish. Here in Syracuse and upstate New York where I live, they said today, they announced today that it was the hottest October ever on record. I'm assuming records go back at least 100 years. Crazy. You know, we had a couple frosts, two nights in a row. Um, but uh, worked in my t-shirt all day today. Crazy. Wow, you gotta check this out. I looked up and I saw a cloud, but all of a sudden the cloud was moving. Don't know if the GoPro is going to pick this up. That's a long line of birds. A really long line, a couple miles long. It's moving. They look like little songbirds. They're just undulating through fall migration. Okay, first cast while we were watching the sun. These are big perch. Big perch this time of year. Look at, how, look at how big he is in my hand. Pretty incredible sunrise too, right? Camera was on for four minutes. That's how fast it came up. You know, and there are a lot of people that, for whatever reason, are never up this early in the morning and never see the sunrise. And, uh, you know, I've always thought to myself, what do I like better, a sunrise or a sunset? And I think I'm at the point where I've been able to make a decision on that. And I believe I like the sunrises better because it means something new and something fresh and something's about to start as opposed to something's about to end. I'm not disparaging the sunset because it's a beautiful way to end a day, but it is an ending. As human beings, we have a beginning and an end, and 
and there's an inevitability to that. I personally, I think, focus now in my life on the new beginnings every day and the possibilities that exist within each span before I see the next sunrise. And I see the sunrise most every single day. And I believe that's a tremendous blessing. All right, just uh, the clock just turned 8, 8 a.m. I gotta get moving. Uh, hour and a half this morning, so I had a 90 minutes to fish. Uh, 20 minute run each way. I went deep this morning. Looking in 29 to 33, uh, around some humps and a drop off. Um, I didn't really find much. I mean, if I marked 10 fish, then they were scattered at that. So I fished it. I fished some structure uh, without seeing anything on the on the screen, thinking that you know they're still there, even though you know not directly underneath under underneath me. And I was fan casting some structure. I caught one perch, good one, a uh, real good one. Thought it was a walleye when he when he when he hit it. Um, but it's not. They're just they're not here in the spots that I was looking. And with this kind of time in the morning, if I really if I don't land right on them first thing, um, it can be a little difficult because I only have so many spots I can check uh, in the amount of time I've got. So I'm heading to Hannibal today. I got to lay, uh, I got the sheeting done yesterday, I got the tar paper on, I got to start laying shingles today, and uh, I'm excited to get that, uh, get that boxed in, I got to put some sheeting up on the side truss on the side wall, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to get that, that done, so thanks again, as always, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you want to see or do or talk about, and don't forget, even though we didn't do much of that today, keep your tip up.